I'm going to now talk to you about trapezoids. And I want to talk to you about trapezoids in particular because there's more than one definition for a trapezoid. You'll notice that in some videos it says that it has exactly one pair of parallel sides. And that's one definition of a trapezoid. But the one we're going to focus on is the one that says there is at least one pair of parallel sides. So knowing that that's the definition that we're going to use, we're going to look at some different um, shapes and figure out if they're a trapezoid or not. Okay, so looking at this first one, is it a trapezoid or not? I want you to think of your answer. And hopefully you thought, yes, this is a trapezoid. And the reason it's a trapezoid is it has one pair of parallel sides. If these two sides went on and on forever, they would never touch. Okay, so this is a trapezoid. Our next one, I want you thinking about if this is a trapezoid. Okay, hopefully, ooh, just kidding. Hopefully you said that yes, this is a trapezoid. And the reason why this is a trapezoid is once again, it has two pairs of parallel sides. You see how these two, I'm sorry, that's a terrible um, parallel sign. These two at the top and the bottom, if they went on and on forever, they would never touch. Now this isn't what we're used to seeing probably for a trapezoid. This is probably the most traditional version right here. Um, and you'll notice that both sides are slanted inward. Here we have one that goes straight up and there's actually some right angles in it. This is still a trapezoid. Okay, let's look at this next one. Is it a trapezoid or not? Okay, I hope you said that this is not a trapezoid. And I know you're thinking, but Mrs. Hayes, you've been showing me trapezoids this whole time. Um, I thought they all were going to be, but <laughs> that's not how this works. So when we're looking here for these um, to see if it's trapezoid, we're going to look for parallel lines. This is not parallel with any of the other lines because it runs into this one, it would run into that one, and it touches this one. None of these are parallel. So this is actually not a trapezoid. All right, hope you're ready for our next one. Is this a trapezoid? And hopefully you said, yes, this is a trapezoid. And I know you guys are probably thinking, well, the ones of you who didn't say it's a trapezoid are probably thinking, but wait, Mrs. Hayes, that's not a trapezoid. That's a square. Hello. And you're right. And you're wrong too. It is a square. It's also a trapezoid. It's a trapezoid because this is parallel. And this is parallel. So it has at least one parallel pair of parallel sides. You'll notice that this is parallel and this, the, I'm sorry. You'll notice that, let me shrink, oh, too big, too small. Um, where's the just right, come on. There we go. Okay, so you'll also notice that these, this side, the left side and the right side are also parallel. So it has at least one pair of par parallel sides. It can have more than one pair of parallel sides using our definition. Moving on, is this a trapezoid or not? And hopefully you said this is not a trapezoid because there's no parallel sides. You'll notice this and this, eh, not parallel. Now, if we look here, these aren't parallel either. They, this, the one on the bottom goes up slightly. And the one on the top goes down slightly and eventually they would cross. So this is not a trapezoid because no sides are parallel. All right. What about this guy? Is it a trapezoid? Hopefully you said, yes, it is a trapezoid. All right. This is also known as a parallelogram. But we're going to also call it a trapezoid because it has one pair of parallel sides right here, and also has one pair of parallel sides right here. Remember to be a trapezoid using our definition, it just has to have at least one pair of parallel sides. All right, is it a trapezoid? I hope you said no, because this is not a, it's not a trapezoid. The top and the bottom are clearly not parallel. 
And we need to have at least one pair of parallel sides. If we look at the left and the right, the, this one on the left is going up and slightly to the right. If it went on and on and on and on forever, it would touch this guy who's going slightly up and to the left. So these are not parallel either. This is not a trapezoid. All right, moving on. Our last one, trapezoid or not. Now it has markings for which sides are congruent or equal. You'll notice the two top ones are congruent and the two bottom ones are congruent. Is it a trapezoid? And I hope you said, no, this is not a trapezoid. This is not a trapezoid because this is not parallel to this. They're kind of close, but you'll notice there is a slight movement, like to, like not slight, it's going up and to the right and here it's up and to the right like this and if it went on and on forever they'd eventually touch so there are no parallel sides so remember a trapezoid coming back to this first slide is a shape it is a quadrilateral that has at least one pair of parallel sides it can have more but it can't have less